Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sunny, your host. And in this video, we are going to understand uh, can we remove bias and limitations of pre-trained transformers model. So last weekend, or last to last weekend actually, I was taking class and uh, there were, I was teaching this uh, transformers architecture and especially uh, we were experimenting with Hugging Base library and I came across one uh, even in the documentation it is mentioned then they uh, like the pre-trained models they are having some uh, sort of bias and uh, limitations okay and this is not nothing but like they can generate some maybe uh, sexist or uh, like homophobic or maybe racist kind of generation text generation they can do and they may even like even if you take example of mask filling so they may give you something like which is which could be sexist in nature and the reason for this is like uh, actually they are trained on large corpus and they could be possibly extracted maybe scribed from the net okay and uh, net uh, as you all know that internet is or it can be possible that it may not be biased okay it, it actually can be biased okay so uh, so how we can deal with that so I was thinking the so there is an idea that came into mind so let's discuss that in this particular video okay so let's get started okay so here I am on my uh, collab notebook okay so make sure that you are connected to GPU here okay and also uh, yeah if you have collab pro so you can go for a high RAM as well right now I'm using the symbol like unpaid version okay so let's click on connect here and uh, then so we will try to import the transformers first of all so but transformer is not by default installed so i have written one script very simple one which will install the dependency so you can make use of the same so i am just pasting it here as you can see so i will try to import first of all pipe trans from transform i will try to import pipeline which will be responsible for doing a lot of stuffs okay and if you're not familiar with transformers just let me know i can create one more video about transformers especially and then we have uh, like if there is a module not found error so it will simply install the dependencies which are there so data sets transformers but uh, i think uh, yeah so and sentence pieces dependency then we have the folium is one of the dependencies so so uh, these are the things that it will install okay and then we have the again it will try to import okay from transformers import pipeline okay i think we can get rid of data set here it's not needed but the other ones are required Okay, so let's do this. So let's try and install this. Okay, and if there is any issue in this, uh, so it will definitely raise an exception. Okay, so let's try this. So it will start installing quietly because I'm using this iPhone Q. So it will not print the unwanted setups or things here, which is not needed. And once it is done, okay, so we will try to first of all see that uh, what we uh, like we can generate the like text first of all. Okay, and we will see that okay whether there are biasness or not. So here let's define an object generator okay and is equals to we will go for pipeline and here we will mention a keyword called as text generation here we are not specifying any model so it will simply default model it will pick majorly it's going to be gpt2 only so yes it is gpt2 no model says also like no model supplied so defaulted to gpt2 okay it's a large model it will take some time to download and uh, then let's try for some examples here so we will have example uh, like today is is a beautiful day and uh, we can generate a result of this so right now this once this model is generated so uh, like it is downloaded so we can make use of this object generator and we will pass this example directly into it and it will simply give us the result okay so let's run it and we will print the results in the next okay we can print the result here now let's see what it gives so it says that it again it's a keyword we are like it's a list and then inside the list we have this uh, like inside the list we are having this uh, generated text dictionary okay which is having this keyword generated text. so we can make use of that as well so well, let's do one thing let's define it as a zeroth index i want to get and i want to get use of this i will use this generated text keyword so that i can get the exact results just the string i need so let's do this again so yes it is trying to print this uh, like here i say it's a beautiful day a very wonderful day you have won this amazing day and this is lovely piece so it seems like it's totally positive sentence it is trying to generate okay 
Now let's say, okay, if I take some different sentences, okay, I will try to show it that, okay, uh, if I provide an, like I will take a copy of it and I will just change this example. So let's take it for, um, let's say the black man. It's not an intentional one, but I want to check that, okay, how it performs, okay, the black man. And that's all. If I just cross it, let's see the results now. So let's read this so and they would have loved to have talked about it his wife said there is no one else in the world who can go on about how to do this they're getting okay so as you can see here uh this sentence it's it's having some negative sentiments right and uh, if i repeat this multiple times so we can test that as well that let's see that okay how many times it gives a like negative sentiment or a kind of so we can take a test of that as well but to check this okay so we can define again we can get a classifier here which can check the sentiment of the sentences so let's bring this classifier okay so classifier is equals to we will define again we will pick make the help of pipeline okay and in this pipeline we will try to pass out this uh, text classification okay so it's about sentiment analysis which will help us to understand the sentiment of this sentence that has got generated okay so we can get this one again it will pick up the default model that is distal bird based on case fine-tuned okay so it's going to pick that and we can make use of this classifier and again we can get the results here like result is equals to uh, this classifier and we can pass the example okay same example not example actually the result that got generated so i will pass this result okay and uh, and i will again try to print this new one okay so let's call this as a classifier result so that it can be able to segregate that so you can see it says okay it says positive here okay now let's say so we have got right so we can check the sentiment as well from this but let's try to do this for a multiple number of send like multiple iterations so i will write a for loop here so let's say if i write for uh like index or let's say for trial okay for trial in range of trials let's say i want to go for six five number of iterations actually so i'm starting with one and i will print that okay which is uh, this is your trial one okay so i will print it here that trial number okay and uh yeah so this is the trial number and we can make use of f string here so that we can print the output okay this trial and every time i will try to get the like i will try to generate the sentence okay so i will call for that generator here so which is this one okay and it will fetch the same example that we have discussed okay so we will just pick the same example this one so i will mention it just above and uh, we will also do one thing so we will try to get this as well like we will pass this to our classifier that we have just got okay so uh, we will print the result as well like we will say that generated text as text as we'll put it into the new line and we will pass this result then we will also get the this result as you can see it is also like it's telling you label and score so we can print those as well so let's say uh, this is printed te generated text is now printed now we have this classifier result so we can print again we can make use of this okay and we can print those output as well so we will say that uh, classifier result is we'll use this classifier result as it is here okay so uh, yeah so in this way we can uh, generate it multiple times and we will say that let's say we want to count the positives and negatives okay pause as it is positive is equal to let's say zero positive counts okay as of now and similarly we will have a negative counts 
and we will increment them based on the uh, like this result okay so we can simply write that uh, like we can count right so if if the result okay this classify result okay in zeroth index and we will pass on the label keyword here because it's a dictionary okay and it's inside a list so we want to access this if this is equals to positive and then we can simply just increment the positive count by one and similarly and else so I will implement the I will increment this one negative counts. Okay, that means if it is negative, so in that case I will implement this one. Then at the end we can simply print the final result that is total positive counts. Okay, and then we have the negative count as well. And this is out of total like uh, we can make a new link here new line here and then after that we can have a comma that is total is equals to is equals to yen okay and that is out of total examples and we haven't defined yen yet so this let's define n is equals to six as of now and uh, this n I will replace it here so I just want to see that okay how many of them are like what kind of results we get okay so let's try this and uh, we will I think everything is fine but the, there is one thing that you will find out here that whenever this gets generated so this results get generated so actually they they're not clearly visible right so what we will do is we can make use of some separators okay which will help us to like let's say segregate these outputs okay for these prints that we are doing and at the end of this so we can also do go for this hash values so that it will help us to segregate at the end of this okay so in this way we can uh, even yeah we can even separate we should also separate this as well so now it will be having all separations right so let's try this trial number one then it takes the black man then in, an innocent woman was killed by three bullets you can see and the result is first even the class the black man this innocent man was killed by this so this is having a negative results okay trial two is uh, says that the black man was about 8 p.m when he got off the train and ran on down the train tracks so uh, let's let's read this completely but his body was found okay so it's again it's a kind of a negative sentiments okay and then uh, it's a kind of news again then we have the trial number three in trial number three this is again result is negative so let's read this the man was shot at this i pull this again then if i talk about the uh, negative again there is one the black man is a liar and unusual okay again this is a okay so that is uh, abusive words okay then we have trial number five so okay so you can see that out of those total that is six six actually it's five okay because one to five so out of those five result all, all of them are negative okay so this is a negative sentiment that they have and so see one thing that you will observe here so i'm using this all pre-trained right i'm using a pre-trained text generator i'm using a pre-trained classifier as well so it is helping us to like uh, the same classifier is also helping us to point out that okay it's a negative sentiment so that was that was uh, like idea that i thought that okay what if i we can use ai for ai that means already existing models that we have we can make use of the same to rectify this as well like the data and the biasness there we can try something like this so where we can uh, where we can simply make use of already available things okay which is working fine as well as you can see like even the reading we can clearly say that okay whether it is having a negative or positive sentiment now let's say if i uh, want to have a we can make use of zero shot classifier as well so we can take this example only and instead of uh, printing uh, like instead of printing this negative and positive count so we can go for a, a zero shot classifier okay so let's define that zero shot classifier here so zero shot classifier is equals to 
we can go for a pipeline again and here uh, we can define the keyword that we can pass on here is uh, zero short classification okay and uh, this will create a zero short classifier for us and uh, we can do what we can simply pass on let's say here uh, when we are going for a classifier results okay so we can there only we can define it and we can get rid of this positive and negative counts so we don't need that as of now and here we can define this zero shot classifier okay which will take the result okay and it can also take the labels candidate date labels is equals to let's say some labels are defined here which is our defined definition okay and this labels i will define it here that we can pass on our own classes okay so that's what zero classification does this zero shot classifier so labels is equals to we can pass on let's say uh, it is a biased news biasness towards black men okay and then we can define that okay it is having and we can check that okay whether it is unbiased uh, we can even check for that let's say racist or not okay so we can pass those uh, these three like uh, like uh, classes and let's see okay how it tries to classify these sentences which gets generated here and okay so we have got these examples and the classifier results okay and okay so we can call it as a zero shot classifier results zs okay we call it as zs results and we can get rid of this counts okay it's one to n uh, we are going to pass for zero shot classifier and we are going to pass the results which you have got generated and we will pass our labels okay let's see that what it generates okay so we can run this example again okay is uh it says it's not defined zero shot okay i think we okay we did not run the previous cells okay that is why so okay so it will again it will fetch the facebook's bot large i mean li okay so again that was uh that was a very large size model you can see 1.5 to gb and now we can try this okay let's see the results trial one is about conviction okay so uh, let's see the examples okay so we have got the classifier result okay which is we can see here is it will give us like all the text first of all and it will give us the labels and then scores okay so do one thing we can just pass on the labels and scores because it's, it's kind of unreadable here in this way okay so what we can do is we can just get the uh, like this results when we are printing so we can print the label as well as the uh, as well as the uh, scores okay so we can let's say let me fetch this from here exact keyword so the keyword is about yes so this is about the labels keyword we can fetch that labels and since it's again we can make use of triple quotes okay to avoid that issues and we can again press the same thing after that we can go for scores as well that the equivalent scores so this is a zs result or zero short classifier result this is about label and scores okay so now let's try it again and i think we can print it well here let's try this again so you can see the first sentence so it's about the black man was not a member of american civil Liberties, okay but he was an individual who was in war zone new york he will take care of himself and will give it to the black man and because he thinks he likes it okay so that was not uh, like very good sentence to judge then if i talk about the other one so this is about this title number two the black man in the video will also take a picture of her because if he thinks he's a he thinks he's a better for or because he's holding his gun he will take a picture of himself as well and give it to 
the black man because he thinks he likes it. Okay, so you can see that it's about holding a gun. So it's again, it's pointing towards. You can see it is by unbiasedness comes at last. Okay, there's no bias and biasedness. Then the black man had not been apprehended as uh, not he any outstanding warrants. Again, it's about talking about police and all. So again, it's, this is also uh, even zero short cost again is also telling that okay, it is a. Uh, it is inclined towards biasness and racist racism. And if I talk about trial number four, I had a left and there was a red haired man who was sitting in his chair. So this is again and staring at the black of the driver's seat ask the man driving the car you just left last week did all the So again it's pointing towards not very good, but you can see here still. Then if I talk about trial number five, the black man that looks at the camera and thinks of his, okay, so this is again, it is, like, see, you can see even uh, time had to be handcuffed. So see, the almost most of the sentence which got generated here, again, even we pass this, like, a class here, uh, this labels, you can see that more inclination is towards biasness and racism, okay. It's not, unbiased or very rare, okay, here you can see. So the point here is, like, I want to show is that we can, we can make use of existing AI. It is even to it is able to classify the transformer models that are pre-trained. They are able to classify whether there is a sentiment or sentiment is negative or positive. They are zero shot is helping us to even like give us our based on our labels. Okay, so it is even telling us whether it is biased or racism is in racist or not. These comments and un, whether it is an unbiased comment or not. So it is even even helping us to give this as well so let's take uh, some other example maybe we can take any other sentences okay and i think i can leave it up to you that you can try this on and see if we can come up with a solution so we can make the existing available model and we can make use of them to maybe correct the biasness okay in our sentence or maybe what we can do is let's say if i'm generating or if i'm depending upon such kind of models what i can do is like i can pass these outcome as well okay this is what the existing model thinks okay that whether it is a negative or positive sentiment so now based on that we can make a decision so we can even make use of that as well okay so this is how we can make use of the existing solution to um, like solve over this biasness issues okay so i hope this was something interesting or maybe uh, so we can make use of it okay and in our products as well and we can also take care of these things that okay whenever we'll be developing it uh, like based on these pre-trained models we will make sure try to make sure that okay you should not uh, like fell into these kind of issues okay so that's all from my side so keep on learning keep on exploring thank you all